Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health. Welcome. So today we're going to be talking about something very common, heartburn or acid reflux. This is that feeling that you get of acid coming from your stomach up into your esophagus. You can feel like a burning sensation or maybe even like a sore throat. But it's a very uncomfortable sensation. So what's the reason that this is happening? Most people assume that this is coming from too much acid, like overproduction of acid in your stomach when actually the opposite is true. So there are many reasons why we don't have enough acid as opposed to too much acid. But most of the time it is assumed that there's too much acid, so people go ahead and take acid blockers, either, either over-the-counter ones or prescription acid blockers. So this is a problem in the long term because when you don't have enough acid or you block acid production, you cause a lot of problems downstream, especially with digestion. There have been many studies that have come out recently showing the long-term effects of acid blockers, and they were never meant to be used long-term. They were only meant to be used short-term. But many people wind up on them for a very long time, and this can cause many, many serious issues such as bone loss, memory loss. It's a serious thing. So here, here's what's actually happening. Your stomach is probably not producing enough stomach acid. This is very, very common, and it's not tested for, okay? So there's many causes why you can have low stomach acid. First and foremost, as we get older, over the age of 40 and 50, we start naturally making less stomach acid. And then on top of that, stress. Stress can definitely lower your acid production, as well as a thyroid condition, autoimmune conditions, especially ones that attack your stomach cells. That can definitely interfere with your acid production. Uh, those are just some of the reasons. Now, here's the reason why you need acid in your stomach. First and foremost, when you eat food, sometimes there might be something in that food, like some kind of pathogen or bacteria or something. So when you have an acidic environment, that's our first line of defense to kill the bug. So that's why the stomach needs to be acidic for that. Also, protein digestion. You need the acid in your stomach to digest your protein. You also need it to absorb minerals from your food. So that's why taking acid blockers in the long run can lead to mineral deficiencies, which can lead to other problems. So it's very important to have enough acid. So those are some of the causes. So what can you do? No need to go out and test for this. Your best thing to do is just to try some remedies and see if they help you. First and foremost, you need to you know, not take an acid blocker um, and try some of these other, other remedies and see if it helps. Uh, the first one that you can try, it's very easy to get, is something called, and I'm sure you've heard of it, apple cider vinegar. You just go to your supermarket and buy the raw, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. Try taking a teaspoon with each meal, especially meals that contain protein and fat. And you can also get acid, uh, excuse me, apple cider vinegar in pill form, but the easiest way to get it is in the vinegar form in the store. The next thing you could do is take something called betaine hydrochloride. This is a supplement that they sell in health food stores, and this actually will increase your acid production. So the amount that you need is going to vary from person to person, so you're probably better off working with a practitioner on this one. But this can help increase your acid production. How long you need to take it is going to depend as well. Uh, and then lastly, another thing you can try is something called licorice. It comes in a tablet form. It's a special type of licorice. It's not the licorice that you would get as a candy form. And it comes in tablets and you would chew it with your meals. It doesn't increase your acid production but it will coat and soothe your stomach so that you won't have that heartburn feeling. These are just a couple of things that you could do. There's also dietary changes you can make. You could also look into the reason why you're having low stomach acid production in the first place. That's what we do here at our clinic is try to help people not only rebuild their acid production, but figure out why is it happening in the first place. So if you or someone that you know is suffering from heartburn, why don't you go ahead and please share this information with them. It could be very useful. It's a very, very common condition. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the space below. I thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.